Vegas 16 and 20 graphics options are now available on the 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro, and today, we're gonna see how well our new top-spec Vega 20 MacBook Pro with the i9 processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM is gonna run Fortnite on both macOS and Windows 10 using Boot Camp. In our benchmark comparison video, we saw that the extra performance of Vega 20 graphics was well worth the extra $350, and it even got almost twice the FPS compared to the 560X graphics option in Unigen's Heaven Gaming benchmark. So let's see how well it'll run Fortnite. Alright, so here we are in Fortnite. Let's go over to the graphics settings. And as you can see, this is what the game automatically set. We're at 1680 by 1050. Everything's on high as well as the viewing distance, and we have turned on the show FPS. We've set the frame rate limit to 144 so we can see how high the frame rates get. Let's hit apply, and solo, let's get right into game. Everything looks pretty good. We're sitting at around 50 FPS, 50 to 60, sometimes it drops lower. And it feels fairly smooth, although sometimes there's some frame drops. Fans are definitely kicking up already. So far, it is very smooth. Make sure no one's behind me. Oh, are you joking, dude? <laughs> Come on. Wow. Ah. Oh. You got me. Woo! Got him. I got him. Close. So one of the worst things about the uh, touch bar is that you have to hit the FN key to get your FN buttons here at the top. So you're most likely gonna have to um, change the key bindings if you have the touch bar. Everything's nice and smooth. FPS is sitting at around 50. Oh my goodness, that guy's good. All right, so we're back in the graphics settings and we weren't quite at 1080p, but everything was on high and we've got decent frame rates of around 50 FPS. Gameplay was very smooth and it's actually very impressive that a MacBook can handle that. Now let's see how well Fortnite runs on Windows 10. But before we do so, let's talk about the number one top rated email marketing app for Mac, Direct Mail, where you can quickly and easily create and send great looking email newsletters with in-depth reports that show you who's clicking, reading, and sharing them. Growing your mailing list is easy with custom subscribe forms for your website that automatically sync to direct mail. It integrates with over a thousand other apps and services, and it can even send email campaigns automatically. It's free to download and get started, and Apple Insider viewers can get an exclusive offer by heading to directmailmac.com AI. All right, so here we are in Windows 10, got Fortnite updated. Let's go ahead and launch. We've got everything on high just as before. Let's actually bring down the resolution to what we had before. Right about here. Right away, everything's so much smoother. I don't know if you guys can see that FPS. We're sitting at around 80 FPS now. Gotta be careful. Ah, man. So let's go up a notch. Let's bring it up to 1920 by 1200. That's a little bit more than 1080p. Woo -hoo -hoo! What's up, man? Come on, bro. So we've went up to around 1080p, a little bit higher actually, and we're sitting at around 60 FPS now. So Fortnite and games in general definitely run better on Windows 10. Man, I am truly impressed with this Vega 20. Like, you are not able to play Fortnite at decent FPS, at decent resolution. And I'm sure this will play other titles like Battlefield 5, Black Ops 4. Man, he got me. And just for fun, we're gonna try the native resolution, everything on Epic. Okay, yeah, it's not doing so well. Epic everything. How about we do native resolution on high? Eh, 
a little bit better. Seems like it's the resolution that kills it. It's still bad. How about we go to 1080p, put everything on epic now. So we got 1080p, 1920 by 1200 actually. Epic everything, apply. All right, let's see. Sitting around 40 FPS. I got him with stink bombs. Wow, I'm so bad. Like, I almost died to this guy. All right. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Oh my goodness, are you joking? A rocket launcher. All right, so here are my conclusions after playing Fortnite on both Mac OS and Windows 10 on the new Vega 20 15 inch MacBook Pro. In Mac OS, Fortnite performed quite well, but it was limited to around 55, 60 FPS, and that was at lower than 1080p resolution at high settings. That's not too bad, but it's definitely not 1080p. But in Windows 10, we were able to get to 1080p, actually 1920 by 1200 at high settings, getting around 80 FPS. Overall, the Vega 20 MacBook Pro is the first MacBook ever to be able to play something like Fortnite at decent resolutions decent FPS, so we're very impressed with it. However, there is a pretty large issue. You have to hit the FN key to show the top row of F buttons. So if you're gonna be playing on a MacBook Pro with a touch bar, you're gonna have to use a different keyboard or you're gonna have to change your key bindings up so you're not using those F keys. So sorry guys about the horrible gameplay. I don't really play Fortnite often. If I do, it's on mobile while I'm testing different phones. I'm more of a Black Ops 4 player and I play it on PC. So if you'd like to watch me play Black Ops 4 on this Vega 20 MacBook Pro, make sure to hit like and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.